I really need to make a log skid. I've been thinking about how I'm going to do this for a long time. They're way too expensive to buy. What I do have, I uh, got for free, was a really terrible old smashed up rear scoop for my tractor. My idea was at the time I'm going to uh, put it a new, a new bottom in it, strengthen it up, use it as a rear bucket, but I, I just can't be bothered. There's too much effort involved into it. What I am going to use it for, I'm just going to put some braces along. So when I scoop up the end of the tree in the bucket, it's going to get dinged and bent and all the rest of it, but it doesn't matter. On Webbs Creek Bridge, after the flood waters receded, there was a nice big gas cylinder sitting there. So I scooped it up and I thought to myself, I'm going to use that. This is going to be the rear roller on the skid. It doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense now, but I promise it will when I'm finished. Whether or not it's going to work, different story. But let's get into it. I've welded a cross piece along the rear of the scoop just to give it a bit more rigidity. I think that'll be enough. The lugs are obviously welded onto the rear skid. So when it's all said and done, there'll be a log going from that rear scoop sitting on top of the roller or lashed on with chain. That should be how the skid works. I'll test it out on a smaller log before I try to use a whopping big one to see how it handles and then We'll go from there, but we are expecting another 100 mil of rain in the next four days, so I won't be doing too much then, unfortunately. The um, welding is subpar. I will not be showing you close-ups of the welding. Shrimpy would be screaming at his computer telling me what I should have been doing. Certainly wasn't how the way he trained me to weld, but dirty paddock welding is dirty paddock welding. We are where we are. <laughs> 